Hello, welcome to another video. Um, today is very, very summery here in the UK, down in Somerset anyway, um, and I'm sure wherever you are in the UK, you're starting to get that summer vibes. Um, so I am going to be doing a video that I was really hoping I'd be making with my best friend Lou over at A Life of Lovely because it is kitchen gadgets. And it's something that we haven't done in three months of lockdown now. We did our last co-ab video, collab, not co-ab, collab video together. Um, literally the day before it was, don't talk to anyone. So um, we, I really missed you anyway, sending you some love. But I, I can't put it off any longer because I haven't been keeping this fruit and veg that long. <laughs> three months but I keep buying the fruit and veg thinking I'm gonna do those gadget videos I'm gonna do the gadget videos they've been sat in my kitchen clearing up the giants have been tripping over them so I was like right that's it let's let's just do it let's just do it so these are were collated over a few weeks slash months because a lot of them I ordered from Wish um, and you if you've ever ordered anything on Wish it's great it's cheap but it comes and if it's the right thing it's been so long you genuinely don't remember ordering it so i went through a stage of like i'm going to do a, a gadget video and a few of these i definitely remember ordering but there's one thing that was not the right thing that i ordered you'll see when we get there and i have no idea why i would anyone would need it but we'll you'll see in a minute so let's get started with our first gadget the first one i'm going to go through is this now they sent me two of them and one is already lost so I don't stand much so for this little guy, but I'm going to be using a potato and this. The idea is that you should be able to make a beautiful spiral um, that when you go to the carnival or the fair, you can buy them and they're like crisps on a stick. So the idea is you stab it in the top and then you literally just um, wind, it down, wind it down. Now it's made... It's made of plastic, so I'm not sure how well it's, it's already just like pushing itself out. Oh, no, it's going in. You have to screw it all the way in, and then you just keep turning it around, and it's got like a plastic blade. So, oh, I don't know what, if, oh, 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 oh my gosh. Now, apparently you can use this on apples. You can use it on potatoes. This is, this is so cool. I'm loving this. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh no. Okay, so that's a problem. Um, so the idea then you can you pop in a stick like that and you have a beautiful spiral of potato. That is awesome. I love it. However, I think it might be based upon the shape of the potato. Maybe like long thin potatoes will be best. Like like this size maybe, the kiwi sized potatoes. I only had a big baking potato, so I thought, why not? But it's still in there, so I'm gonna carry on. It's not very um, thin as it goes round and down. I think that's probably like my turning up, my turning of it. But yeah, that's, uh, that is cool. I like it. Don't know what I'm gonna do with these. You could, I think the idea is you would pop a stick into here, which I forgot to bring over with me, um, but then you would deep fry it. Now they have these giant fryers at the fair, or the carnival, but I, I don't have a giant fryer. So I don't know how to do that in a pan. I'm gonna bake them and see how they turn out. So pop over and check out on my Instagram feed. I'll pop the link below um, and you can see how this worked out. Oh. I'm gonna get all the way down. There we go. I think I think I've approved. What's the word? Why is it really word? Uh, proof of concept? Because it it definitely works. It's just this is my first time using all these gadgets. Um, except for like a little test on one of them when it came, which I'm gonna do next. I don't know what it was. Um, I still don't. So yeah, I I like it. And then that goes through the bottom. And I I think that is really cool. And because it's plastic, you don't have to worry about cutting your fingers, which is always a good thing. Yeah, I've got right to the end. I think and then you just finish it. There we go. I don't know how I'd get that out. Just, I don't know. That that's that. I'll deal with that later. So yeah, you get these lovely spirals of potato. 
And you, you could definitely just pop them on stick and put them in a baking tray with a bit of spray on some oil and some seasoning. Yeah, great, awesome. So I give this, should I do I think I'll do it out of five, it need to be out of 10. I give it three and a half out of five because I don't know how I'm gonna get that potato off the end now, just cut it, I suppose. It's clean, there's no nothing else really great to go in the dishwasher, now. fab. So yeah, maybe a four and a half, we'll see when it's cooked, but yeah. Definitely, I'll give that a go. That's great, they are great. So, next. I'm gonna to go to the one that I didn't order because this happens occasionally on Wish. You'll order something and then you get sent the next order SKU number from the dispatch. So, I didn't order this. It's a kitchen gadget. I don't know what you're meant to do with it. But I, I know what you're meant to do with it, but I, I don't know what it's for, you can see. I'm gonna use a grape because I tried this with tomatoes and it just ended up with a big spodgy mess. But it's got like a little window and it's got a cross blade in there and you just pop it in like that and then push the plunger down and then you have quartered grapes. That's quite handy. Other than grapes, I don't know what I would use it for. So you could use it for tomatoes, but grapes are quite handy. I've got two small girls, well, one small girl and one bigger than me now, girl. Um, but the small one, I always worry about her eating grapes and choking and parties, fruit salads, that's quite handy. It's quite addictive as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's quite addictive. So I wonder if I could do two together. No, it's, right, it's getting really messy now. I don't like it anymore. But it's quite a big window, so I'm wondering, can you do two together? Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do two together. No, no, that just ends up in a splodge. Definitely don't do two together. That's all. So then you end up with loads of cut up grapes. So that's great for salads, fruit salads, um, your children not choking. Oh, um, yeah, that's okay. And say, so it takes up room in the drawer. It's gonna be really awkward to clean. It's got metal in, I'd worry about that bit going rusty. Um. If you have problems, I suppose chopping grapes with a knife, I mean, how quick can I do that in the quarters? Actually, yeah, that, that's quite annoying. That's quite annoying. I generally just go for halves. That is quite annoying. So it's a good gadget. Yeah, maybe like a two out of five because I don't really see the point in it. <laughs> but I do think if you want a great quarter it's pretty good and i suppose if you had really solid tomatoes it would do the same job but my tomatoes just kind of went into a little squish so never mind okay so moving on with our next gadget i bought this and it is a pepper cora duo and it came and i've only just realized what the duo part is for so it's like how is this a duo? What else can it do? Because duo means, surely means two things. It must do two things. Um, and it, actually, I've only just read it, so <sighs> crazy. But I got this from Amazon, and it says, ideal for coring and de-seeding large bell and small chilli peppers. Once again, thought, how is that going to work? It does this. You squeeze it, and it comes out. And it, ta-da! So then you have a small one as well. That's pretty clever. So that's that's how you get the duo part. And it can, it can part quite easily. So it says on the instructions, oh look, that's the core of the potato from earlier. I wonder what happened to the middle. That's pretty fun. Um, so you, it says take care of removing, oh, removing product from packaging. That was fairly easy. Um, and I've already washed it. To use, pierce the pepper with the core and I've already cut the stalk off because I thought that's that's going to get in the way. So you pierce it with the core, twist, and then simply lift out the core and the pith. So I've got another way that I use, I normally just quarter it down the bottom and spread it open like a flower, and then pull out the core. So I don't didn't really have a need for this, but if you eat a lot of peppers, then yeah. Ah, that's pretty cool. But for stuffed peppers, that doesn't work. So, okay, the core has gone into the pepper, but, that are, and look, this core's growing new peppers. I'm gonna plant them. So, <laughs> um, that that is cool. Five out of 10 little duo. I haven't got any chilies to, de to use because I didn't 
read it properly and didn't know that that's what it did. But that's pretty cool. And it took literally seconds. So yeah, five out of five Pepper Cora Duo. That's cool. And it's really little, doesn't take up any room, all plastic. Not gonna go rusty. Go in the tin water, go in the, no, don't put it in the tumble dryer. Go in the dishwasher, great. So, brilliant. Okay, so next. I'm going to use this because um, my we have used this before. It's a kiwi remover. Now, I bought it for my daughter because I see kiwis like an apple, hairy skin and all. Um, maybe weird. I don't know. That's that's just how you're going to eat this tiny. And I tried it and I was like, yeah, it's fine. Just eat the skin. Um, but she hates the skin. She hates me eating the skin. Um, I don't mind skin, it's not hairy in your mouth, it's fine. Anyway, um, so this, you just cut the top off the kiwi and you're meant to put it in and twist. And from experience, you need really big kiwis, as this happens, where it just splits around the skin and goes all really juicy and messy. And then you shake it out and you're left with kiwi pieces. Now, yeah, you are. That's great. I have to say, there's a bit of skin on that one. That just comes off. That one got missed completely. And there's still a big chunk of kiwi in here. Now, I hate the fact it wastes that because I'll just eat that. Um, so I'm just going to eat that as is later. Um, it makes a lot of mess because you. I suppose it wouldn't if it was a really um, unripe kiwi, but then why would you want to eat it? They're yummy when they taste like when they're juicy and it, it's made a lot of mess. So I'm going to go and clear it up because this is very messy and get some more knives and plates. So I've got a carrot here and I can't remember what I got a carrot for. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so the next gadget I'm going to use, I remember what the carrot was for and it's because I have got another gadget that I, I genuinely don't know where it is because it came ages ago and I stashed it out of the way because it was really sharp and dangerous and I didn't want the girls playing with it. It was basically like a long metal skewer with a circle blade on it that you twist into like carrots and cucumbers and it produces like a, spi a thick spiral, which looked really, really interesting, but now I've lost it. So I, I had no idea what I would do with the spiral of carrot. It just might make a, it's very 70s, I think. So I can't, I can't find it and I'm quite glad. Anyway, next. This is, a food. this is the biggest apple I could find. And this here is for cutting an apple um, with the core left in the middle and then in two, uh, eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight pieces. So I'm going to do that now. This is the biggest apple I could find though, but it would be really good for cooking apples because that's really huge. Um, Oh, yeah. Ah, there we go. Easy. That was great. That took literally seconds. And it hasn't gone all the way through. Anyway. Pull the core out, maybe. Okay. There we go. And then, ta-da! Awesome. Look at those. Beautiful. So we've got our cord up. Oh, oh, that's not really nice. So we've got our apple and we've got our grapes. Yeah, great. So that was really quick and it's really easy to clean. Great. Another four and a bit out of ten, I think. So it's not that easy to push it out the bottom. You could also use this to, to a pineapple. So it would keep the core of the pineapple in the middle, but that would be really a bit hard, I think. And also very messy. Um, and then you're left just with the core of the apple. You can just throw it away. Because if it, oh, it drives me up the wall. My daughter will eat an apple and she loves really big apples and she literally eat like that and like that much of the, around in the skin, leaving a core like essentially an apple. So that's a really, really good family gadget. Love it. Well done. That's great. Next, I'm dreading doing this one. This is my last gadget. And I should have done this earlier because I know it's going to be rubbish. It's something that you're meant to be able to hold on to the thing you're cutting with and then cut it so that your fingers are out the way and not getting messy. And, um, but it has to be a very particular shape, I would imagine, to hold on to. You could hold something bigger, I suppose, like, cause it stretches quite large, like that. Um, but I love tomatoes, I love sliced tomatoes, but they're quite tricky to, without, without um, 
squishing them all up. So, yeah. Oh. Okay, so straight away you cut it and then, then it, if it, if it doesn't fill the whole gadget, it kind of just squishes to the side. So I've just made two cuts in that. One hasn't gone all the way through, but it's okay. It's, it's all right. I, mean, I was cutting that bit and it kind of flipped to the side. So it wasn't great. Tomatoes are quite hard to cut. <laughs> I always used to use, really need to use a serrated knife so it grips the skin, which I haven't used. Um, but I've got a little potato here as well to use to make little sliced potatoes. But you cut it and then if it didn't, if it doesn't fill in the hot, fill the whole thing. If it's too small, it just falls to the side. Could use it to slice an egg, maybe? A hard boiled egg, obviously. <laughs> and then, so you can get, I mean, look, that's not a slice, that's a chunk, that's a wedge. It's not, it's not a slice. But that's because, I say, it was sliding all over the place. So you would have to have, take this to the supermarket with you and be like, mm, nope, too small. No, like get the right size piece of veg or fruit maybe, if you love it that much. So that's my little roundup of gadgets. They cost no more than, a, than perhaps two, three pounds each. This one was the most expensive one that I bought from Amazon. And But the big hits I have to say are the apple and the peppercora, things that need to be cored maybe, is a theme running through here. Um, but yeah, so um, I will do more gadget videos because I really love cooking. And if you love cooking as much as I do, stay tuned for some more cooking inspiration and baking videos. And please smash that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up because it really makes a difference to YouTubers' lives. It's basically what we live on is subscribers. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.